We were presenting what happens in Gellock High School's outdoor education program, which has been running for about four years and runs through S3, S4, S5 and S6. We started about four years ago with just half a dozen lads on a Friday afternoon doing a mix of outdoor activities, but it's grown since then. So now we've got, we've got something like 45 involved out of a whole school role of 180 doing at least one afternoon or significant block of outdoor activities each week, week on week in curriculum time and it's all staffed by teachers at the school who've got who've developed the qualifications in outdoor activities. I did the outdoor ed course last year and we took part in kayaking, mountain biking, hill walking, um, we climbed Cairngorm and did some winter skills up there with ice axes and we did some orienteering, a bit of river skills as well. We live in a fantastic environment. We've got a lot of opportunities within 10 minutes of the school. So we've got a wonderful natural environment uh, and it seemed like we should make the most of it. Now, I think the value of it's been seen and we're expanding it. Uh, oh, there are other members of staff involved now as well. So we're trying to make it more sustainable. So if somebody leaves, it doesn't all fall apart. For classroom teachers, it's, you get a much better relationship with the pupils. Um, they tend to see you as a human being. I think as well, pupils see people, uh, they, they see adults who are still involved in outdoor activities and activity generally, which maybe they don't see otherwise. Uh, so they see that it's part of a healthy and active lifestyle. I was a bit sceptical about a couple of the activities, but once you get over your initial sort of fear, then the results are just fantastic. You gain such great confidence and self-esteem that it's completely worth it senior management team are happy to see it on the timetable it gave pupils who perhaps weren't engaged with school activities uh, something to do but now we've got a full range of pupils from university applicants through to the ones who are struggling to fill up their timetable doing it as well we can't afford to bring in outside providers uh, to provide for us so absolutely key to it has been building up a range of qualified staff in the school there are barriers we're all full-time teachers of other subjects and so we have to find the time on our timetable from somewhere. But we've got more and more staff doing qualifications, so we've got a flexible pool of staff to draw on. Uh, we've got a very supportive head and senior management team, and I don't think it would work without that. Start it and start small. Okay, find a group of half a dozen maybe, find some time on the timetable, maybe an afternoon, and uh, just see what you can put together, but don't be afraid to start it.